What's up, fellow pack crackers? Jay Little here for more pack crackers. I kind of mixed it up. But anyway, today is yours for Thursday, where I'm going to be opening one pack of Zendikar Rising. Now, if I get a Mythic in this pack of Zendikar Rising, uh, I will be giving away a $5 TCG player gift code to the lucky winner. Now, a few things you have to know. And there's some epic music playing. Uh, okay, chill out, epic music. Um, but uh, a few things you need to know uh, about uh, the TCG Player gift code giveaway. First, three rules that you have to follow to uh, to be part of it, to have your chance to win at least. First, you have to be a subscriber to my channel. Pretty easy. Just click the subscribe button on this page. You can do it. It's easy. Simple. I'll wait. You done? Okay. Uh, second, you have to comment on this video. Uh, pretty simple as well. Maybe the most difficult uh, so far. But uh, you just have to tell me how you would use uh, a $5 TCG player gift code. Is there a $5 card you would buy? Is there two uh, $2.50 cards you would buy? $2.50 cards you would buy? What? $2.50. Um Tell me how to use it. Tell me how you would use the mythic I get if I get one, uh, in a in a deck that you use or how you already use it. And thirdly, you gotta like the video. One simple click. And that's all you gotta do. But anyway, to get your chance, and also there are more rules in the description below. So make sure you read those because they are important as well. But those are the main three things to have your chance to win. Uh, the fourth main thing is I have to get a mythic. If I don't get a Mythic, no giveaways. Simple as that. So let's open up this pack of Zendikar Rising. Uh, we got Scale the Heights. Two and a green for a sorcerer. You put a 1-1 one, one counter on up to one target creature. You gain two life. You may play an additional land card this turn. Draw a card. We got Mesa Lynx. Uh, one and a white for a 2-1 key cat. Uh, as long as it's not your turn, this gets two. This gets zero two, I should say. Uh, Teeter Peak Ambusher, uh, one and a red for a one three Gerblin Warrior has uh, two and a red for uh, getting plus two plus zero to the turn. Okay, not too bad. You can stack that late game. That's a good stack, especially if you can give it first strike or trample or something. Oblivion's Hungor. Uh, one and a black for an instant. Target creature you control gains indestructible time of turn. Draw a card if that creature has a 1-1 counter on it. I thought there was more. Draw a card if that creature has a 1-1 counter on it. I read that wrong, but correct. I read the words correct, but I am emphasized wrong. What? Anyway, spare supplies to drop artifact. Uh, when it, enter, it enters the battlefield tapped, and when it enters, draw a card. You can pay two, tap it, sack it, and draw a card. Okay, so you get a card when it comes in, pay two more, get another card. Double draw, essentially. Then we got Colony Ambush slash Colony Territory. Uh, the Territory side is a land that enters tapped, and you can tap it for a green. Or the Ambush side, shide, side uh, two and a green for an instant. Target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. That's a Scythe Cat. Uh, the Scythe Cats of Colony slash Zendikar in general have, like, these whoosh, these, like, fucking reverse Baraka Claws, essentially, coming out of their wrists, I guess. Then we got McKinney Mesas slash McKinney Stampede. The Stampede side is 3 and 2 white for a sorcery. Creatures you control get 2-2 two, two until end of the turn. Not bad. Or the Mesas side... Uh, as a land that enters tapped, and you can tap it for a white mana. Now, if I get a mythic in this card, I'm gonna gonna pop open right now. We have a TCG player gift code giveaway for five dollars. Again, you gotta be subscribed to my channel, gotta like the video, you gotta comment on the video, and also uh, abide by the rules below. There's others. Anyway, let's open this up to see what we get. Will it be mythic? It's not at all. Ooh. Big oof. Anyway, we got a Tajuru Paragon. One and a green for a 3-2 elf that is rare, unfortunately. 
but it's also a cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard, so good for a uh, party deck, I guess. Uh, has kicker for three. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, reveal the top six cards of your library. You may put a card that shares a creature type from among them into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in the random order. And it's going to have a lot of creature types. Not only is it a cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard, but it's also an elf. So there's that. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for yours for Thursday. No giveaways, unfortunately. Uh, but I'm always going to be, I'm always going to be cracking. And I'm always going to be trying to give stuff away. So make sure you watch every episode of Pack Crackers for a chance to win. But mainly Thursday, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you. It's mainly Thursday. But I do other giveaways every now and then. Sometimes I don't announce them. Sometimes I do. Ooh, spooky. Not spooky. Mysterious. Yeah. Ooh. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Later, guys.